Hi, what we have here is this beautiful uh, LTD Mirage Deluxe 1987 up for sale. Uh, this is not your stock average uh, from the factory LTD uh, Deluxe. Uh, I've done a lot of work on it to make it an absolute super shredder beast. Uh, it did have some high frets from the factory, so I've given it a, a full fret level, uh, crown and polish, and I've even beveled the uh, fret ends further to make this really, really super comfortable and to get the action ridiculously low, probably lower than any guitar that you've ever played. Uh, it's no word of a lie. We're sitting at just over here at one millimeter on the low E at the 12th fret and just under one millimeter uh, at the 12th fret on the high E. Uh, so it's really set up for live playing. Uh, studio use, I'd probably uh, adjust the truss rod uh, to give it a little bit more relief. Um, and the action just a tad higher. Um, but anyway, what else can I say about the guitar here? I'll go through some specs for you. Uh, it has a Seymour Duncan distortion in the uh, the bridge, which is a great articulate uh, uh, bridge pickup uh, and well matched with a Seymour Duncan hot rail in the neck. It has a three-way toggle, uh, toggle switch uh, and a coil tap for both of them to go to the inner coils of each pickup. We have a Floyd Rose 1000, not the crappy uh, special. Uh, it's perfectly intonated, spring tension is spot on, um, and tuning stability is rock solid. The fretboard radius on this guitar is 14 inches, which is really, really great for both shredding and chord work. Sometimes a really flat, fret, uh, flat fretboards can be harder to uh, do chord work on, but this is great for both. It's a great in-between radius. Uh, I've treated the fretboards with some Monty's uh, uh, fretboard wax, um, just to condition it a bit further. And uh, um, it's a three-piece maple neck and Makassar ebony fretboard. Uh, and it's uh, an older body, so it's quite lightweight. It's quite resonant. It's a really fantastic sounding guitar. Um, what else can I say? Uh, let's see what it's there. Oh, sorry. It's set up currently in E flat with 11s to 54s, uh, mainly because that's what George Lynch you would have been using uh, back in the day when he recorded that album that I did the demo for. Um, what else is there? It's a 25 inch, 25 and a half inch, so standard um, Super Strat scale length uh, guitar. And... Uh, it comes with um, one of the ESP Deluxe cases. They are worth about $189. These guitars retailed for $2,799. Um, now, the, the, there's a couple of uh, things that are only cosmetic. Uh, I was maybe a little bit rough with the guitar uh, at band practice one day and it does have a hairline fracture uh, in the neck uh, where the neck meets the heel. Uh, it's only cosmetic paint and a small fracture there. It's pretty, it would be pretty hard to show you here on the um, 
camera so I'll probably do a photo so you can see and it has a very small thumbnail imprint where I probably dug in my thumbnail a little bit too hard uh, but again you can't feel it you can see it but you can't feel it and it doesn't affect the playability or the stability of the neck um, so uh, this guitar was only used about half a dozen times at rehearsals uh, the only reason why I'm selling it uh, is because I prefer my Super Strats to be 24 fret, not 22. Uh, and I already have a guitar that I set up to George Lynch spec, um, but with 24 frets. So there's no need for me to have another one. Uh, apart from that, this is probably the most insane playing guitar I've, I've ever got my hands on for the price range. Um, even even better playing than some guitars that I have worth four or $5,000. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, if you're here in Tassie and you want to give the guitar a try, just shoot me a message. We can uh, maybe arrange for you to come around and have a play and uh, see for yourself. Um, if you're anywhere else in Australia, shoot me a message if you've got any further questions um, and we can talk about shipping options. But uh, yeah, I'll be selling it for $2,500 with the case and all the work that I've done to it. Um, if you would like uh, different tension strings put on it or... Um, uh, set up slightly differently with uh, different tuning we can talk about that as well that'll probably be an extra cost though so the, the, the 2500 is for as is and the way that it's currently set up um, anyway uh, I think that pretty much covers it um, okay see ya